River, am I right? Well, you can see what's happening here in Texas, and everybody has seen the visuals of, of the crisis that, that's here. The situation is just as outrageous in Arizona. We're at a 1,000% increase in the Yuma sector, a 200% increase in the Tucson sector. As people move their way up from the Northern Triangle and through Mexico, eventually they get to Arizona after Texas. We don't have any security down in New Mexico or California. Governor Abbott and I have both deployed our national Guard in Arizona. We have a border strike force. And I was joined by governors from around the country here today, and 26 governors wrote a letter to President Biden. Those same governors are sending law enforcement to border states to help us secure the border, even though this is a federal issue and responsibility. Governor, you know, the numbers are staggering. And 17,000 uh, have crossed the border illegally into Arizona last month, in August, I'm sorry, alone versus 695 a year ago. So the same thing is happening in Arizona. I want to ask you something. There, there's recent uh, Supreme Court ruling that sent the $3.6 billion that Trump had allotted for a border wall. They sent it. It was turned. It was pushed back by the Biden administration. They sent, sent it back to the lower court, three and a, $3.5 billion. Would that help you secure your border? Absolutely. Walls work, and the wall helps stem the tide. I mean, we're at a 21-year high for border crisis in Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, and California. This is bad as we've seen it in several decades now. The wall went a long way as a physical barrier, one to send a message that our border is not open, but also to help us interdict drug cartels and to stop those folks that are now shaping policy on our southern border. And I'll give you a number that I think really tells the tale here, Eric. It's been over 1.5 million people that have been apprehended mm -hmm. in the last year. We have nine American states that aren't that big. This has to stop now. It's going to, it's going to hurt our country in so many ways. We can see it with uh, the fentanyl and the methamphetamine. We can see it with the transmission of, of the disease. And we also don't know this is, this is a, a national security issue. We've apprehended 1.5 million people. What about the people that we didn't apprehend that are coming over here to do us harm?